Okay, so here's where we're at with the cell. I reconstructed the cell, put one eighth gaps between every plate in order to try and see if it'll reduce the amount of foam that I get. But I've also got another diamond cell here with one sixteenth gaps just to compare because they're both feeding off the same reservoir. So I'll be seeing if this one starts foaming a lot. Well, this one's not, then I'll know the plate gap has a lot to do with the foam. But that's just one experiment. Alright, so this is the uh, double diamond cell with the 1 8 gaps and the 1 16 cell running. The difference I, is my old setup got me about 3 liters a minute at best. This one's between 4 and 5 running at low amperage. Um, I've got both the diamond cells running at about 17 amps each and the um, single diamond cell is about 20 amps. One thing I noticed right away when I put the cell together was that it took a huge amount of KOH compared to the 1 16th uh, cells I was using before. And as you can see, it's 17 amps, just like I said there in the double diamond. But anyway, I'm hoping to see if this is going to give us any information about the gaps having to do anything with foaming. <laughs> 